welcome back to the terrible old man i am your host the man from Leng. we are playing through the sinking city and uh poor charles reed and i had a very close call last uh last uh episode with uh many many creatures in the old abandoned hospital we managed to uh i think we managed to kill one with a grenade and uh we shot another and hacked one down but we did manage to find the dole chance now i i was a uh, Took a peek at the uh, one of the walkthrough guides, and I realized that I am I missed a note back at the. Uh, I was right. There is a mind's eye uh, thing that you do there, but I sort of uh, um, did it differently because I found the poison on my own. So, but there is a note there that I forgot to pick up. So I will. Uh, we're going to head back there and uh, grab the note quickly, and then we need to uh, find. Uh, Cavendish. So we will do that quickly. Shouldn't take long. I didn't realize there were two notes in the basement. There is a experiment log one and two. So, uh, we will go back and grab that. Yeah, I've, uh, yeah, killing that, uh, trying to, that big thing. That was crazy. Um, that was probably one of the freakier areas, actually, of this game so far. When you when you get into those buildings and you uh, you're walking, what's wrong area? When you're uh, walking around and you're and you hear the noises, but you cannot hear yeah. the. Uh, There's like unlimited first aid kits in this place. There we go. So there should be another experimental log somewhere around here. Some serious equipment they've got here. Oakmont University is Whoa. clearly well funded. Are we sane or insane at the moment? I feel like we should be sane. Our sanity is way up. Yeah, here it is. Experiment log part two, March 10th. With those pesky limitations removed, I can finally continue my experiment unhindered. I need to know more. The specimen remains alive, even with half of its internal organs removed. It's fascinating. I'm on the verge of a breakthrough in biology as we know it. March 15th, I developed a way to reanimate their tissue, even in one that's been dead for weeks. This is monumental. The possibilities of it, the implications, does this hint at something hidden, some trait present inside other creatures and perhaps even ourselves? I will need to find volunteers. So, uh, yeah, somebody was... Uh... <laughs> I'm glad this thing is dead. Why do they even keep it here? Yeah, just to look at it. Boy, that really hit my sanity, just looking at that thing. All right, well, we've collected all the evidence here, so that's good. Uh, we need to go, I think, um, let's check the book, because I think there is a... Uh, There is another mystic tome we can find. So Cavendish lives in Advent somewhere, so we need to find his address. The mystic tome, there was another one in Reed Heights that was further away. Uh, yeah, north of the intersection, Communion Road and Museum Avenue. Uh, Confession of Witches. The witch who wrote this confession lived in Eastern Reed Heights, somewhere north of the intersection of Communion Road and Museum Avenue. Okay. Museum Road and Communion Avenue. Yeah, so that's way, that's pretty far away from here. I don't think we're gonna go do that right now. Maybe we'll do that when we, uh, we go to that area. So I think we need to go and find where, uh, uh, we need to find the address of uh, where Mr. Cavendish lives. 
and that I think would be the uh, the walkthrough suggested it's at City Hall so I'm just gonna go do that and then we will uh, put two and two together and hopefully find uh, Cavendish so City Hall is just over there if we walk down University Avenue we should be there or University Street and yeah so University Street all right be nice if there was a fast travel point that was close Unfortunately, I think we have to hop it the old-fashioned way. So this is Ivan Heavenly and University. I believe we're going the right way. Yes, we are. Yeah, the scenery in this game is fantastic. I don't like it, though, when it gets dark. Like, it's simulating night. The game is already pretty dark. And so when it gets darker, it's really hard to see. Still on university. We should be arriving in Advent here shortly. No fast travel points that I can see. Uh, so we want to go. Mm, what road is that? Oak. Okay. Yeah, I want to go this way. the place right there. I believe this is where we want to be. Is there an entrance? I thought that would have been the entrance. Or is there one around the front? Was just the back. Yeah, this looks more like the front. Fast travel point around here, though. Let's extra, go grab. Extra. I think it's All right there. Let's go grab that first. New bestseller: Sherlock Holmes Mystery of the Creepy Watson. Okay, so we've got our link to Advent West. That is good news. Now we can go to City Hall here. See if we can't track down Mr. Cavendish. Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. What do you want? Uh, just wanted to say hi. I'm new in town. Oh, how nice for you. If you need to look anything up in our archives, get in line like everybody else. There's no line. Get in line? I'm the only one here. Well, huh. I guess that means I'm first then. So, I can just go look up what I need. Don't sass me, young man. Next time there could be a line here, and you'll get no special treatment. Charles can be a real Bye. dick sometimes. He's just like, well, I'm, I'm here, and nobody else is here, so... Yeah, he can get pretty, uh... 
ornery. So now we have to remember to choose our evidence before we do this. Uh, we need to get out of there. This is the one thing I don't like because you have to be on the right case, otherwise it it uh, won't let you. So the evidence we want is the subject citizens period after the flood uh, citizen records district advent no uh, legal documents no oh, maybe occupation no he would be a citizen. Yeah, that seems right. No. I feel like Cavendish is a citizen, right? Oh, no, he was a newcomer. Oh, I can't remember now. Um, legal document. Huh. Hmm. Before the flood, maybe um, uh, let's look up uh, couldn't have been that old. No. Okay, I'm missing something. I'm missing some information. thought there'd be more information about uh, Cavendish to help me with this, but hmm, doesn't say when he got here. Newcomer. Not an enterprise. Other uh, legal documents? No. On the right case, I'm pretty sure. Okay, citizen newcomers, enterprises, or other. Citizen after the flood. Occupation. Whoops. Read heights. No. 
legal documents. Wow, this is a tough one. Um, professor at the university, which is in Reed Heights. Citizen, flood, occupation, Reed Heights, nothing. Advent, nothing. Newcomers after the flood, occupation, advent, Reed Heights, nothing. Uh, other? No. Hmm. Citizen between 1910 and 1919. No. Citizen. Yeah, see, he wasn't. He was only 25. So he wouldn't be that old. Ah. Uh. Maybe he's a newcomer. No. Um. Maybe he's old family. for no uh, hmm. wow um I am perplexed to say the least um So that little book icon means we need to do some research. What about other? After the flood, occupation, no, no, okay, other legal documents? Other uh, citizen records? Wow. Um, newcomer after the flood. Citizen records. Legal documents. Wow, it's just like needle in a haystack here. Um, wow. Um, huh. Wow, this is a toughie. I feel like I've I've done pretty much every like advent shouldn't be that Okay, citizen period birth record maybe I'm looking for
legal document. Uh, occupation. Like, he wouldn't be a professor back in the 19th century. Would he be a newcomer? No. I'm really curious to what the what the combination is here, because um, I feel like I've tried almost uh, other, like a birth record, maybe. He's a citizen. The period. Nineteen ten to nineteen nineteen. Citizen records from that period. Legal documents. Wow. Um, newcomer. He's a newcomer between nineteen hundred and nineteen oh nine. really curious to find out what the uh, I may have to look this one up because I just don't have a I'll be here all day at this rate okay uh, he was a professor who lives in Advent who's 25 years old. So he wouldn't be a newcomer. He probably arrived before the flood. getting anything on that. Alright, I have to look this up. This is driving me crazy uh, as to why this is... Okay, so what is the... Okay, so we go to the archive room. As for evidence for analysis, select the poison thief, select subject, then citizens, select registry, select citizen records, select the district, and then advent. Okay, so why? Citizens, citizen records, district advent, but I'm not getting any information on that. Weird. I'm not getting any 
So it said, I'm just looking at the, the walkthrough here, and it says that it should be, as evidence of the analysis, select the poison thief. We've done that. Select subject, then citizens. Yeah. Select registry section, select citizen records. Select district advent. That, to me, would be like the main point. So citizens, 19th century, citizen records, advent is the only one we haven't tried, and there's nothing there. Citizens, after the flood, citizen records. Like, am I, what is going on? Um, I'm doing it according to the... Like, did I miss something, or... Do I need to do, like, a... You know, maybe I need to do a, a mine palace thing. No. So, what's the deal? Oh, geez. So, you didn't have to pick a time period? Like, how are you supposed to know that? That baffles me. They give you the option of picking a time period, but then you don't have to. So George Cavendish profile. George Walter Cavendish. Date of birth, January 26th, 1883, Oakmont, Massachusetts. Uh, Advent Central, St. Michael's Road. Uh, so St. Michael's Road between Carpenter and Constitution. Uh, St. Michael's Road, Carpenter, and Constitution. So, it doesn't ask you to select a period. But how would you even know that? That, that baffles me. That, uh, yeah, that is mystifying. Why that would be the case. So, yeah, you, you don't pick a... You don't pick a time period. All right, well, let's find out where he is. Uh, we are in Advent. Uh, St. Michael's. It's probably way at the other end of the map, too. Uh, St. Michael's Road. Between Constitution and Carpenter. Okay, so we just go down St. Michael's Road and we'll get there. Well, that was a... Uh, I disagree with that one game. I really strongly disagree with that. Uh, with that uh, picture of things. Because you put a category there and it makes me think that it needs to be filled with something. No, that's the wrong way, so I want to go the other way. So I think we'll get to uh, we'll get to Cavendish's house here, and then we will call it a day. But uh, yeah, I'm a little disappointed in that, to be honest, because uh, find something you like, cheaper than the rest. It doesn't make much sense to me that you would have a category and not you would not have to fill extra, it. Extra. All the news looks Anyway, 
frustrations aside, we are going to head to Cavendish's house and we will uh, we will uh, check it out next episode and uh, see uh, whether the uh, professor is in or not. Is this yeah? Constitution and Carpenter. So it's got to be around here somewhere. Uh, just need to find the marks on the... Oh, yeah, it's right here. All right, well, Charles Reed and I will uh, deal with uh, Mr. Cavendish next uh, episode. This has been the Terrible Old Man. I am your host, as always, the man from Ling. Thank you very much for tuning in today. If you enjoy this content, remember to like, comment, and subscribe because it helps out the channel a great deal. I hope you will join me next time with my on my playthrough of The Sinking City. And uh, until then, I hope that you have a fantastic day. I will uh, see you again soon.